Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week we connect you to the best of Delmarva. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Bill Patterson's paintings are done with an approach that is somewhere between realism and impressionism. He says that as a child, television played an important part of his becoming an artist. I remember uh, as a child there was a program called Winky Dink. And um, Winky Dink was a character on TV. And um, they would, he would have a problem and you'd have to help him solve the problem. Well, Winky Dink, the kit was, it was a static kind of plastic that went on the TV screen. And so you would draw on this uh, plastic and complete the drawing so that Winky Dink could solve the problem. Well, the issue with me is that I didn't have the plastic for the screen. I just drew right on the screen. So my parents says, well, this isn't going to work. We've got to do something else. So, uh, you know, I did that kind of thing. I remember other TV shows, John Nagy learned to draw. They would encourage me by purchasing these types of items for me. And it just grew from there. And then when I got into high school, I, I found that uh, I had a good high, sc high school teacher. I think art in the elementary schools at, at that time was kind of kitschy little things, uh, paper bunnies and that kind of stuff. But when I got into high school, I found that, that that's where I started to really excel. I graduated most artistic. Uh, and then the, the natural choice was uh, to go into, into the art. So I went to Mercer County Community College in Trenton. And that was kind of neat because a lot of the professors that taught there were from New York City. So they would come down on the train. And so I got a lot of neat current things uh, that they were teaching. And I think I got a good base there. From there, from uh, Mercer County Community College, I went to Glassboro State, which is now Rowan. And then uh, throughout my career, I took other courses at University of the Arts, and um, I studied with uh, Nelson Shanks at Studio in Caminati. After 30 years of teaching high school in New Jersey, Bill retired to Delaware for its low taxes and continued his development as a painter. In 2014, he helped Nick Serator set up the studios at Walnut in Milton, where he now works and gives classes. Bill says he often researches current and past artists looking at various techniques and styles to gain inspiration for his own work, which demonstrates his superior drawing skills and an impressionist sense of light. So I, I tend to be more of a studio painter, but I'll, I'll use sketches. Uh, a lot of times I'll just try to create things out of my head. Uh, you know, maybe I'll see a reference of a scene that I liked, or I'll take a photograph that'll be a starting point, and then from there I'll just progress, and it, it kind of morphs into its <laughs> own reality, you know. When you say, what is my style like, I think you, you take what you see here, and you take what you see there, and you kind of, you want to emulate that a little bit. I don't think you want to copy it. But what happens, it's, it's like uh, it'll all funnel through. It has to funnel through you. And so consequently, you might say, oh, I'd like to paint like that guy. But once you start painting like that guy, you can't escape yourself. So yourself is interjected into that. And I think it, it, style just after a while just happens. You know, I was always kind of told, you know, don't make a mistake. You know, well, that's the worst thing you want to think about as an artist because some of the mistakes you make are some of the best things you've done. So I think with art, you have to just plot along and, and, you know, try to look at various things that you like, styles. But after a while, your style will just emerge. Though Bill concentrated for quite some time on still life, he is currently most interested in landscapes. Trap Pond, Prime Hook, and Broadkill Beach are some of his favorite local subjects to paint. 
Nature's serenity is at the heart of what he tries to convey through his work. If I'm out somewhere and I see a particular scene that I like, I think, what it, what is it about that scene that I like? It could be the quietness of where I'm at, if I'm in the woods. Um, it's maybe a certain thought that I get about the scene that might bring me back to my childhood. Um, and so I try to capture that feeling in the painting. I'm just moving towards a solitude type of thing. I'm also trying to work towards a more ethereal type of approach in, in the look of my paintings, more, you know, mystical, misty. I like that feeling of solitude, like I'm the only person there and I'm looking just at the, I like quiet, you know, the quietness of the, of the uh, landscape. Uh, you feel like you're the only person there. You can see Bill's work in person at the Studios on Walnut in Milton, Delaware. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. Be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and next week join us to learn more about our local culture and get connected to our natural wonders. If you'd like to become an underwriter for this program, visit delmarvaalmanac.com support. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters eatdrinkbyart.com for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.